More on how the Biden administration is handling the influx of immigrants at the border. We're joined now by our chief White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega. Cecilia, we just heard from Matt Gutman there, and yet despite what we see, the new Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas insists that this is not a crisis. So what is it? Yeah, I, I think, Diane, we're looking at a game of semantics right now because there is what the administration is saying, and then there's the reality that's happening on the ground. Even the administration concedes the numbers have the potential to be overwhelming and they are on the rise. I mean, uh, we're hearing from the Border Patrol who says they're apprehending 200, on average, 200 unaccompanied minors every single day. Uh, the, the, Matt just mentioned these 10 cities. What's happening with those minors once they crump, come across the border and end up in custody is they are maxing out the bed space that's available. Almost every bed, we're down to just a handful of beds that are left that are empty right now. Almost every bed is taken. And then in just, just, as, just to give you a real sense of the scope that we're talking about, in the month of January alone this year, uh, Border Patrol uh, encountered 78,000 migrants in the month of January. That is more in the month of January than we've seen in, uh, in, in a decade, just more than a decade even. So, so this is definitely on the rise. I think we are, if not at a crisis, we are very close to being in crisis mode at the border right now. And Cecilia, President Biden came into office promising a very different approach from the Trump administration. As Matt just said, that is partly uh, to account for the increased flow of migrants to the border. But there are critics in Biden's own Democratic Party who point out that thousands of children are being detained, some in the very tense cities that President Trump was criticized for using. So how is the Biden administration responding to that criticism at this moment of, of crisis, as you say? Yeah, we're looking at a potential humanitarian crisis and also a public relations crisis because they're now hearing from people in their own party. Um, a big name, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, for example, who says it doesn't matter which party is doing it, putting kids in tents is wrong. So how is the administration responding? Well, their hands are tied, and that is factual. They're saying we are trying to overturn and to rebuild what they, they view as an immoral immigration policy left behind from the past administration. And they say that they were left with zero immigration policy, actually, that they're building it from the ground up. And what's happening with these parti this particular issue that's got even Democrats in rage, which is these tents, is they're putting kids in these tents, the administration right now, uh, Department of Human Services, because they have nowhere else to put them because Matt said of, of COVID and, and they've got to you know, reduce capacity in some of the other shelters. So they're not in these, they're not supposed to be in these shelters for very long, these tent cities, so-called. Uh, they're there temporarily while a Department of Human Services uh, looks for other places, looks to reunite them with families, looks to put them in foster care. But the reality is they are in the very tent cities that the Democrats have been protesting under the Trump administration, and there's no other way around that. And Cecilia, then there's the issue of those some 500 children separated from their parents under the Trump administration that still have not been reunited with their families. Where does that stand? It's just absolutely heartbreaking um, factually. So the administration has created a task force to try to uh, attempt to reunify some of these families. And they say they have made some progress in the short time that Joe Biden has been in office, that they've been able to reunify uh, 100, a little more than 100 kids with their families. But Diane, listen to this. I mean, we are talking about to this day, 500 children who still have not been able to be reunited with their families. The government simply cannot find them as a result of that failed immigration policy from the Trump uh, administration to, to separate families at the border. And, and, and you'll remember that policy was so controversial because it happened so quickly. They didn't have the infrastructure in, in place to track these kids once they were separated from their family. And I hear often from, from folks who say, you know, why can't the administration find these families? How hard is it? We're talking about families who come from the poorest of the poor areas, who are from war zones, who's, who play, you know, in Central America, uh, who, who don't necessarily have phones, they don't have the internet. So it is a very hard and difficult challenge for, for the government to find uh, the families. But again, 500 kids, it's just heartbreaking. It really is. All right, Cecilia Vega, thanks for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.